Hey guys, I'm Chris Dore, and one of the most regular common questions I get from people are what flies do I need for such and such a river? Or hey, will this fly work? Of course it will. Now the best bit of advice I usually give them is to go down to the local, find a nice productive riffle, and simply pick up a rock and see what's crawling underneath. Here we have an abundance of free living caddis. Just in their little purple cocoons in amongst there. And there's one right there. A green worm-like sort of creature, probably about a size 12 or 14, represented by our BTB tungsten caddis or Corbe's cheek nymph olive. So here we have a small dark Dileotidia mayfly nymph just at the tip of my thumb. It's about a size 16 or 18, small, dark and slim. So that's now telling me that if I open up my fly box and find a pattern that looks the same size, similar shape and similar coloration, then guess what? It's going to work. Most importantly, I'm going to find the right weight. What I need to fish that water in close is going to be very lightweight, whereas if I have to work my way out deeper and towards that riffle, I'm going to need some tungsten beads. I'm possibly going to need two tungsten beads if I wish to get down quick and make the most of that drift. Now going to my fly box, I can see quite a few in that category. You can find a lot of small, small dark size 16s through there, lightly weighted. I have a few bead heads. Moving down through there, I move through some other options. And I have a few flashier options over there. Because so I know they're the same size, the same shape and coloration, but sometimes you just need a little bit of bling to grab the fish's attention. So next time, instead of stressing about whether or not you're using the right flies, just turn over a couple of rocks, see what's crawling around underneath, and match the size, the colour and the shape with something from your fly box. I'm Chris Dora, and that's how easy it is to pick a fly. Take care, cheers.